So you're watching Hornbill TV's Nordic Express Bulletin. The Committee on Environment of the Mikalia Legislative Assembly, led by Chairperson Wailat Miki Sheila, inspected the cement and coke plants in East Jandia Hills to assess their environmental impact. The team included members of Legislative Assembly Myral Born CM, Sostine Soten, Santa Mary Sheila, and co opted members along with district officials. The inspections followed a meeting at Clear Riyad Circuit House covering Jandia Coke Private Limited, Dalmia Cement Parrot Limited, and Star Cement. Sheila emphasized on balancing industrial activities with environmental preservation, stressing sustainable development and local employment. He requested details on raw materials and quarries, as well as air quality reports and worker safety measures. CM also highlighted the need for environmental monitoring and planting trees regularly. Sheila urged companies to restore mined areas by planting trees and taking environmental responsibility seriously. Further, member Soton called for stricter quarrying regulations and expanded pollution controls. Showcase activities and to welcoming the corporate house from different sections of society to be here, set up factory, be it in Lunchnong, be it in Garvels, be it in Greenway, different area. And we have seen the initiative and contribution of different factory that has been set up with regard to employment, with regard to how to address the issue of uh, increasing the GSDP of our state. It has a background where we are thankful to each and every one of you who have contributed so much. Keeping in mind the, the revenue expenditure of the government, which is huge, compared to the capital infrastructure, capital investment that has been made. So that's why Thank you so much for the presentation which you have all presented and as the member of the committee we came here to discuss, we came here to inspect, to look out about the loopholes because we are all here to help especially the industries but helping the industries who are investing in our state does mean that we'll have to destroy the environment environment has to be protected and we have to also think that economically we have to grow. I hope that you doesn't show us only in paper all those machineries. I hope they are working well. And today we are here like a layman, most of us. So uh, so many of your explanation might have just flown above our head because we are not expert in this. But we are a a hard-working members of the committee. So we will keep tracking through the department. We, we will keep on checking from time to time. Because, like I said, we have a responsible to leave a better place, a better environment, a better future for our future generation. So I just wanted to request something to all the uh, companies, especially, and also to the small miners, limestone miners, that please see that you uh, you, uh, you plant, like every year we have this plantation period, please plant trees in all your uh, mining areas that you have uh, destroyed. And you have, you, you must compensate not to the anyone but to the environment, to the society, that we must compensate these trees. If we cut them down, so we must compensate them in a way that uh, we can see that, as you, as you can see that the weather is very hot now. It's because of uh, 
uh, you know, uh, cutting trees and the environment has been destroyed. It's all due to because of uh, we don't have much of oxygen and trees around uh, our state as a whole. So therefore, my only request to all of you is, please plant trees every day. Two persons attacked a doctor on duty at the Karim Ganj Civil Hospital on Saturday. Both of them were later handed over to the police. The incident revolved around the death of a 26-year-old youth identified as one Somnath Banik more than a month ago at Karim Ganj Civil Hospital. Banik's father and uncle blamed one of the doctors and attacked him on Saturday. After the incident, the hospital authorities informed the police. The police arrested both the alleged attackers. Somnath Banik, a resident of Taspadi in Garim Ganj town, was admitted to Garim Ganj Civil Hospital as ICU a month and a half ago in a critical condition. Somnath died a day later. The victims' family members blamed Dr. Burhan Uddin for his death. A heated exchange of words, words between the family members of Somnath Banik and Dr. Burhan Uddin took place at that time. Interestingly, it is reported that on Saturday, Banik's father and uncle came to the hospital for some other reason and found themselves right before Dr. Burham Uttin. In a fit of rage, they attacked the doctor while also injuring a nurse who came to the, 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 the doctor's aid. The guards at the hospital napped both the alleged attackers. After a formal complaint that was lodged by the superintendent of Karim Ganj Civil Hospital, Dr. Lippi Deb Sinha, both of the persons were arrested. Dr. Sinha also alleged that these two men demanded a sum of INR 5 lakh from the doctor for the death of their son. Dr. Pulhan Udin Johan Lugi Dekchiden, Uni She Audure Niyam Bhongo Kore, Audure Bhitore Hamla Kore Dhuke Dorja Dhakka Diye, Gye Dr. Pulhan Udin Eru Kore Akraman Kore. Ebon Uni Oshambhav Tirjo Bhashaya Una Ke Dali Dalach Kore, Una Chile Kichu Din Aage Amade Dei Civil Hospital De Mirtu Boron Kore Che Bole, ওই ছেলের মৃত্যুর ক্ষতিপূরণ হিসাবে উনাকে 5 লক্ষ টাকা দাবি করে এবং 3 দিনের মধ্যে যদি এই টাকা উনাকে ডক্টর বুরহান উদ্দিন না দেন উনি উনাকে দেখে নেবেন বলে হুমকি দেন আমাদের ওখানে কর্তব্যরত যে অ্যাটেনডেন্ট মহিলা ছিল অ্যাটেনডেন্ট মহিলা ছিলেন উনি উনাকে আটকাতে গিয়ে উনি নিজে আঘাতপ্রাপ্ত হন আমি ওসির সঙ্গে পরিমল সদর ওসির সঙ্গে যোগাযোগ করি এবং উনাকে বলি যে আমাদের হসপিটালে এরকম একটা ঘটনা ঘটছে আপনারা কিছু একটা করুন কারণ আমি আমার ডাক্তারদের সঙ্গে আলোচনা করে জানতে পারলাম যে উনি এইভাবে অতিরিক্ত উত্তেজিত হিসাবে আমাদের ডাক্তারের সঙ্গে এই আচরণ করেছেন কারণ কি কিছু মাস কয়েক মাস আগে ওনার ছেলে এখানে মারা গেছে এবং উনি আমাদের ডক্টর বোরহান উদ্দিনকে তার জন্য দায়ী করছেন তো আমি পুলিশকে ডাকলাম যে এখন আমরা যদি এফআইআর দায়ের করি এই ঘটনা পরিপ্রেক্ষিতে আমার ডাক্তাররা ইনসিকিউর ফিল করছে এইভাবে আক্রমণ আক্রমণাত্মক অবস্থার জন্য তো পুলিশকে ডাকলাম তো পুলিশের সাথে উনি এবং আরেকজন ভদ্রলোক আমাদের এইখানে ঢুকলেন ঢোকার পর আমি বললাম আপনারা বসুন আমি আপনাদের সঙ্গে একটু আলাপ করি ব্যাপারটা কি বুঝি আমরা এখানে সিনিয়র ডাক্তাররা আমি নিজে আছি আর এই ডাক্তার বুরহান উদ্দিনও এখানে প্রেজেন্ট আছে বুরহান উদ্দিন নামটা শুনেই সেই ভদ্রলোক এত উত্তেজিত হয়ে পড়লেন যে উনি দাঁড়া হয়ে একেবারে এগিয়ে বোরহান উদ্দিনের উপরে আক্রমণের ভঙ্গি নিলেন আমি বললাম আপনি চুপ করুন আপনি এইভাবে হাত তুলবেন না আপনি বসুন পুলিশরা ওনাকে একদিকে টানছে কিন্তু উনি বুঝছেন না উনি বললেন সেই দিন আপনি কেন যান নাই আমার পেশেন্টকে পনেরো মিনিট আগে থেকে এসছেন পনেরো মিনিট পরে আবার কেন গেলেন না তো আমি বললাম দেখুন হসপিটালের পরিস্থিতিতে ডাক্তারবাবু পনেরো মিনিট আগে দেখে এসে পনেরো মিনিট পরে আবার কেন যান নাই এটা এখন আপনাকে উনি জবাব আপনার এই পরিস্থিতিতে আমি আপনাকে ডেকেছি আপনি এখানে বসুন আমরা আলাপ করব কিন্তু উনি কোনো অবস্থায় নারাজ উনি যে উনি ওনাকে ডাইরেক্ট পেয়েছে তো ডক্টর বুরহান উদ্দিন এ যে ডক্টর ওয়েন ইউ উইল বি সিঙ্গল ইন দ্য হসপিটাল অর উইল বি অ্যালোন হোয়াট ইউ উইল ডু ও এবং অন্য ডাক্তাররা বলছে যে আমরা এই পরিপ্রেক্ষিতে আপনি যদি কোনো স্ট্যাপ না নেন কোনো পদক্ষেপ না নেন আমাদেরকে যে কোনো মানুষ যে কোনো সময় এইভাবে 
এত মানুষের মধ্যে ঢুকে আঘাত করলো এবং আমাদেরকে অ্যাটাক করার প্রবণতা নিল এই যে আপনি কি করতে পারেন এখন আমি মনে করি যে এই পরিস্থিতিতে হসপিটালে কর্তব্যরত অবস্থায় যখন ডাক্তারের উপরে কেউ এইভাবে আক্রমণ করে আমি নিজে দেখে ওদেরকে বুঝিয়ে বলার পরও যখন ওনারা কিছু শুনলেন না আপনারা কি বলেন নাম মানে যেটা সোমনাথ বণিক ওর বয়স ২৬ বছর এবং সে মারা গেছিল সাতাইশ সাত দুই হাজার চব্বিশের সন্ধ্যা বিকেল পাঁচটা পঞ্চাশ মিনিটে Assam Chief Minister Himanda Biswa Sarma has urged the state's members of parliament, his cabinet colleagues and deputy commissioner of all districts to provide suggestions to ensure the successful implementation of the Oru no Doi 3.0 and National Food Security Act. During a video conference with MPs, MLAs and DCs, the Assam CM discussed the upcoming launch of Oru no Doi 3.0 and the NFSA across Assam on September 19. According to a government release, Assam's Orunodoy or Arunodoy scheme was launched on October 2, 2020, under which Orunodoy monetary benefits have been envisaged for more than 24 lakh poor households in the state. Women, being the primary caretakers of the family, are gapped as beneficiaries of the scheme. The Orunodoy scheme will provide financial assistance of INR 1000 per month through the direct benefit transfer scheme. The CM highlighted that efforts have been made to implement developmental schemes around newly formed constituencies since the last parliamentary elections. As the constituencies have changed but the legislators remain the same, the work of a legislator would now extend across one or more constituencies, he said. He also highlighted the state government's efforts to link Orunotoy with ATAR and only individuals with ration cards would be eligible for Orunotoy 3.0 and announced that moving forward, polling booths would serve as the operational units for the scheme. The Chief Minister specified the, that the annual income threshold for receiving a ration card would be set at INR 4 lakh, while eligibility for Urunodoy would be kept at INR 2 lakh. Telangana Chief Minister Revanad Reddy has appreciated All India Majlisi Idihadul Musliman Chief Saudino YC for raising the voice of the poor and the marginalized people in the country. He said that a good opposition will help the government to work efficiently. The Telangana Chief Minister was speaking at a book launch of Prophet for the World by Maulana Khalid Shaifullah Rahmani on Saturday. The event was also attended by MB Asaudin YC. The Bhagavad Gita, Quran and Bible preach on the peace in the world, Reddy said. The sacred scriptures of all religions spread the message of the welfare of all, he said. It is a matter of pride that the president of the All India Muslim Personal Law Board hails from this region, Reddy said. A Saudi OYC criticized the Congress government sometimes. A good opposition will help the government to do work efficiently, he said. A Saudi OYC is one among a few who raised the voice for the poor, said the Telangana Chief Minister. Telangana se kaskar ya combined Andhra Pradesh mein pichle dino mein अच्छा अच्छा नेता लोग पे जयपाल रेड्डी जी जी जैसे अपने तेलंगाना से आवाज उठाने वाले थे आज के तारीख में तो बहुत कम हो गए बिजनेस और कॉर्पोरेट बिजनेस वाले ज्यादा आ गए बिजनेस में तो वो लोग तरक्की अच्छा कर रहे मगर गरीब लोगों का आवाज उठाने वाले कम हो गए सत्रह में एक ही दिख रहा है मुझे असुद्दीन वो वैसी चीज जो गरीब लोगों की आवाज बनकर वहां पर सुनाने के लिए जो कोशिश कर रहा है the Joint Action Committee formed in connection with the Kagwa Naurem Legai incident in Manipur has imposed a 24 hour general strike from Saturday midnight, September 14, to Sunday midnight, September 15. In response to the excessive actions of the security forces, the committee has called for a 24 hour general strike. It has appealed to all sections of the public to support the shutdown. Updates said protesters stormed the Kagwa police station. There are no additional information in this regard. The first Northeast Bodybuilding and Physique Championship 2024, organized by the Bodybuilders Association of Sikkim and the Northeast Bodybuilders Association, successfully concluded on September 15 at Manan Kendra, Kangtok, Sikkim. 
The event featured various categories including men's bodybuilding and open men's and women's model physique, drawing participants from across the Northeast. Nagaland made a strong showing with a delegation of 18 members comprising 10 athletes, one team coach, two national judges and six officials. Tali Moa Jamir from Nagaland claimed the gold medal in men's physique 175 cm and was honoured as the overall best poster. In the under 60 kg bodybuilding category, Robin Peku secured the gold while Alemba Tongliu won silver. Kikru Krele Zeye finished fourth and Puluto Shohe earned the bronze medal in men's physique 175 cm. In women's bodybuilding, Miss Lili, Lili Hansu brought home a gold medal with an impressive performance. The championship attracted top bodybuilders from across the Northeast, including Rohit Sinha, a 10 time Mr. World, who was a highlight of the event. The Katikora police team of Gachar district in Assam has arrested one more person in connection to thefts of roads. Police have arrested so far three persons in this connection. Congress leader and chairman of the Jatinga Cooperative Society, identified as Tachuddin Mazumdar, was arrested for his alleged involvement in the theft of roads. Mazumdar was arrested in a raid on his house in Jayanagar in Jadin Gamuk. He was arrested in connection with the theft of roads worth INR 19 lakh from a lorry on its way from Guwahati to Mizoram. The arrested person is accused of smuggling the stolen roads from a petrol pump in Kartikora. The robbery took place a few days ago. Two other persons, Farooq Ahmed of Najatpur and Rajivuddin of Lakirpur, were arrested on suspicion of their involvement in this theft. Both of them were arrested on August 29 and were produced in court. The police has recovered the lorry with some of the stolen roads. Assam Chief Minister Himanda Biswa Sarma has accused the Congress Party of instigating evicted people. In Assam's Sonabur, two people were killed during an eviction drive by the Assam police. Sarma said there is a tribal belt and block in Sonabur. The tribal belt and block law was brought during the Congress Party era, he said. According to the law, he said only tribal people can live there, but people of one community live there. They were living there illegally and they are violating the law, he said. Therefore, the government evicted them, Biswa said. He accused the Congress party of instigating them. When the Congress instigated the evicted people, the evicted people violated it, he said. The Assam chief minister claimed there is now peace and eviction is going on, but the evicted people have reached the railways. He said these people are raising Bangladesh-type slogans. It seems that much of fundamentalists has been entered there, the chief, Assam chief minister said. <laughs> Onapur at a tribal belt and block. Tribal belt and block of Moti, Antipur of Habe, Amar Muset of Vijan, Sodia Sine, Aru Rice, Ikokole, Mati, the Polkuri Sine, Teonuke, Dorong Zilla, Aru Morigao Zilla, Nijor Nijor, original Korolo, Uboti. Ati Ratipur Pra, Congress Dog. Jetiar pra teoloke e usseno virunita kori bolle arambo kori le. Jetiya asam mano utro hoy kori. Apna lke jodi saje viruhi dollar potiye dosta saje dosta bazar pra e eviction to viruhita kora arambo kori. Congress dolle jona usse jya tribal welfare block akhama Congress se ani se. Aru Congress se jetiya tribal welfare block na. Eviction war, Viruita Corine. Jetia Congress, Rapipur, Eviction, Viruita Corine. Jetia Tat Manu Prohoi Corine. Police or Port Akromot Solale. Amar Sarkul Officer Amar Tare Hanar Osi Aru DCP. Ute Kotal Kail Hut. Police or Portutor of Police Solevo Solabono Yahut. Dujon Luk Nihoto Huise. आरो हाथ जोन लोग आहोत हुए से आरो बाईस डॉलर के आरोप में ये गुटे घोटना आहोत हुए से उससे तभी जान सोलिया से सरकारी मार्किंग के लिए तमी उससे पंपुन्नो पुरी सु जी फोकले मैदी पट्टा ताही बोहिस सिले त्याग लोगों के लिए आत्मरी जो नोटिस दिया हो वहाँ तीर एक के बारे लोगों आदि जी धोरने फोंगोटी � आही बोलो कि आप बिल बिलाकर पौड़ी बेखोर बिखोए, 
আমাক আকৌ এবার ভবাই তুলেছে যে আহিবলগা দিনবোর কি ভয়ঙ্কর হব পারে আর এই গুহীর গাতে লাগি মহানগর গাতে লাগি থাকা অবস্থা আর যা কালিলেক সম্পূর্ণ শান্তিপূর্ণ আছে নিজর নিজর ঘর ঘুরি গেছিল আর আমি ট্রেকো করে আছি কিন্তু আজি রাতপা কংগ্রেসে উৎসাহ জনার পরিবেশ এটা অবনতি ঘটে That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.